Greetings from New Jerusalem Triple Seven. Hi, I'm back. Um, I messed up on my other video, so actually I had to do another one, and I had to delete the other one because I messed up on the um, other one. But anyway, I wanted to continue covering this story with a couple more videos. Um, I actually want to show you a clip online about Rifka Berry. She's um the Muslim that converted to Christianity, and I want I really wanted to show you the video on YouTube. So hopefully this works. So let's get to watch it, and just give me a second here. I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to show you the video and have you listen to it very carefully. Okay, let me do the camera a little bit so you can see her. It's about over six minutes. About She's very scared. Okay. Tell me what's going on. I'm going to enlarge um, it. Well, I, I'm, I'm a Christian, and uh, my parents are, are Muslim. They, they're extremely devout, and uh, they can't know about my faith. Well, they do not, but um, my, they've threatened to kill me. I, will, there's, I don't know if you know about honor killing, but this, this faith uh, that uh, <laughs> you guys don't understand. Islam is very different than, than, uh, than you guys think. They have to kill me. My blood is now halal, which means that because uh, I, I am now a Christian, I'm from a Muslim background, um, it, it, it's an honor. It, 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 they love God more than me. They have to do this. And I'm, I'm fighting for my life. You guys don't understand. And I, I, <laughs> they don't understand. Do you, what did your father say to you? He said he would kill me. Saturday night in the morning, I left to go to a friend's house, 
and uh, I, I asked her, I begged her to take me to church. I needed to get to church. I needed to pray. I needed to seek the Lord to know what to do. And so that entire day from 7 in the morning uh, to, to late at night, I prayed and prayed and prayed. And finally, I was able to get a ride back home to, to, to the person's house. And then I, I stayed there Saturday and Sunday night because my dad was coming back home from, from his trip that night. And so I stayed there that night, and I just left. I hitchhiked uh, to a bus station, and I got a ticket to Florida because I had met them through a, a prayer ministry on Facebook. And this was the farthest away from Ohio, and you don't understand. If I had stayed in Ohio, I, I wouldn't be alive. And so I, um, I was able to do that, and I, I called them from the bu- on the bus. I used random, you know, nice people there that I, I was able to talk to. And I used her phone to call them, and then uh, I was looking here. Has there been any type of killings at all in her family? Um, Have you ever seen anything like that? I'm not sure, but in 150 generations of my family, no one has known Jesus. I am the first one. So imagine the honor in killing me. Like, there is great honor in that. Because if they love Allah more than me, they have to do it. It's in the Quran. And uh, you can, like, into, like give him knowledge about it, because um, now... I'm pleased to talk with you. Yeah, so um, he really will explain it and break it down. They have to do this. Uh, like, if they, they, they just have to. And uh, either they do that or they send me back to Sri Lanka. And, and there's an asylum. There's an asylum there um, where they put people like me. Like, you think I'm crazy. And uh, Do you really think that this is true, or do you think this is just a threat? <laughs> Uh, there's actually hundreds of cases that are back to like me. Amina and Sarah, they, they, they were forced to go back home. They were killed by their dad. Like, this is not just some threat. <laughs> this is reality. This is truth. This is reality. If, how many more cases? If you want, there's case after case. There's hundreds of them. I am one. I am one of hundreds. They have to. This, you guys don't understand. <laughs> They have to. I don't know what else to say, but they have to. I, if you want proof, there's hundreds of cases that can validate my story. Even my friends and, and, and people from back home, they knew what would happen to me. My own brother knew about my faith and he didn't tell my dad. What does that say? He knew the consequences. He knew. Uh, so what do you want at this point now? I want to be with them. I want, I want to be free from my parents. I, I want... I want to be free. I want to worship Jesus. I want to go to church on Sundays and read my Bible and say Jesus is alive whenever I want to. You guys talk about religious freedom? No. I don't have that. I want to be here and I want to worship Jesus freely. That's what I want. I don't want to die. Well, that goes to show you that what's going on with this case and um, about Rivka Berry. And I just wanted to show you a video clip because, you know, you have a, a young lady that's pleading for her life and she's pleading for her life, you know. And I, actually, I wanted to show you that because I want everybody to see what's really going on. And, you know, and I want everybody to see the face, you know, even though it's all on YouTube and stuff, it's not really on the the mainline media but I'm gonna have to do another video because I'm probably running out of time and I mean this girl is just pleading for her life and it's bringing tears to my eyes I mean you guys don't know but I, I'll do another video regarding this case because this is very urgent this is pressing I t- I'll see you in another video y'all take care for now bye <laughs>